It's a beautiful morning and we have here the one and only activist, seizing activist. <laughs> Jina officially mm. the president of comedy as well akona titles yeah. mingi eh mm. nabi na prophet any ukona mambo mingi sana na leo look imeweza elibidi wewe elibidi how are you i'm doing fine uh -huh. i'm happy i'm joyful i'm jumpy uh -huh. nasikia poa sana uh -huh. eh kwanza jana nimesijela love nimelala leo hata uh -huh. nimechelewa huku citizen kikubwa kimefresha ni kipi ni kile rais alifanya uh, kwa ku wa fire wale cabinet secretaries mm -hmm. na ilikuwa kitu ya kwanza tulikuwa tunaomba mm -hmm. eh hata ukisikia kwa ile speech yangu ya nabi yeah. it was number one. Mm -hmm. so ni kama alianza na hiyo mm -hmm. na akimaliza speech akasema we are going to do more changes and more fire mm -hmm. so uh, na ngoja kuona kifaya hawa watu wa Kenya power simumi hapa sana tokens sana uh, ken james gkbc hizi maparastetal wote waende mm -hmm. eh so me i'm very happy I'm extremely happy. And the uh, president uh, has stopped listening to his people mm -hmm. and now he's listening to the people. Yeah. And I get uh -huh. he used to listen to his people, now he's listening to the people. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's on the right track because the voice of the people is the voice of God. Mumelewa. Na niliambia plug juzi, ndio aliniuliza na kiburi sana, wewe ni nani? Unaongelesha rais ka nani? Na sipo nini? Ni kama plug if 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 he fires. Mhm. If he fires, I'm in He might, he might be creating the greatest legacy of any Kenyan president or African president. Yeah. Mm. And what he needs to do is uh, make sure now that he has the space. Rais amepewa opportunity ya kutoka mabeste yake. Unajua kutoka mabeste yako ni ngumu sana. Sana. Tudi mimi kukupea job uh, siwezi kukunyang'anya. Mm. Lakini watu wote wakasema utolewe nitakwambia Tudi. Yeah. Sio mimi. Yeah. So ako na opportunity ya ku make history. Mm and to make Kenya a trend worldwide by number one appointing a Mamamboga cabinet secretary mm -hmm. and appointing a Boda Boda cabinet secretary. How Not is really, that for possible? It's possible because out of five Boda Bodas, three are graduates. Hata hapa inje ukendo wangalia sa hii. Just pick five randomly. Watatu ni graduates wa KU ama UN. And after all those three when you graduates, one akuna first class honors. Let me ask her. Yes, ask us. Uh, maybe mm. Eric, mm. if an opportunity was presented to you, mm. uh, ukwe in one of, ukwe one of the CS maybe in the next cabinet. Mm. Unaweza kubali? Mimi natastaki kuwa CS. Mimi natakwambia President Ruto. Hapa kama mjadala wa leo, na muomba ya kwamba aniite, aniulize. Eric, kwa nini ume, umeshikwa for 2 years? Ni nini uliona? Ni nini ulitamani? What was in your heart and your brain and your spirit and your soul? Why did you stop comedy and start going to the street? So right now you are ready to meet him. Yes, I want to advise him. I want to tell him uh -huh. I'm happy with him is listening to the people. Remember Sai pia hana an official uh, advisor. Hana official advisor. Yeah. Me I'll tell the president why in 2022. Big ending. Mm -hmm. So it's two and a half years. Yeah. I started going to the street and my message has never changed. It has been corruption, na corruption ni HCSS. So, Mr. President, call some of us. Mm -hmm. Call some of us. You are ready. Yes, and ask us, Eric, ni nini yo liona? Sasa hivi unajua kisema awaite, probably you are Tathania, now you are ready for dialogue. Not dialogue. Okay. We are ready to give the president spiritual advice. Shikosi unajua kile kitu tumesema ime happen. Uh, sure. Sindio? Uh -huh. Ilianza huko na Ezekiel Mutua. Hakuna kitu tumesema ya happen. Uh -huh. If I was the president I would sit back and say ni nini hii? Uh -huh. get? Yeah. But if the president wants to win, cabinet yake isikuwe na na politicians. Hmm? Uh -huh. Ikuwe na wa Kenya. Ikuwe na wa Kenya. Ah, uh, ikuwe na young people. Uh -huh. Yeah? Because the revolution has been pushed by the young people. So I take his time, I breathe in, I breathe out, uh, I ombe, I seek wisdom, I seek advice, yeah, before I appoint. You try to surround this key in the coalition government of parties then. Toka tumerudi back to Penya Tulitoka. Sisi, kuna kitu tukonayo, kuna kitu tumeona, that knows us idea rais. That I can tell you. So Eric, at this point, you are supporting President Ruto, as we speak right now. You see, uh -huh. even in war, when you get, when you, when you, if you if you gains, mm -hmm. you get a gain, mm -hmm. you retreat, you breathe, mm -hmm. you re-strategize, you wait. Mm -hmm. So President Ruto Ali, Ali moved chess, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a normal. Uh -huh. yeah, so, 
that I'm support, mm -hmm. but I'm afraid uh -huh. because he has listened to the people. Mm -hmm. President Ruto has always been listening to his people. I can tell. And I'm going to nini. I only TikTokers. Yeah. Yeah. I only cloud chasers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we are the street for like two years now, mm -hmm. as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, what is going to make you go back again to the street? Because uh, mambo ni mengi. If the president does not fire the inspector general, mm -hmm. if the president does not fire all parastatal heads, we will go back to the street louder, stronger, bigger, noisier, messier, if it does not do that. Kenyans have also been concerned about uh, this office, the office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary. Mm. Because when you know it's not in the constitution and things like that, mm. what is your stand as every family? Mr. President, uh, I know Musala Mudavadi campaigned with you. I know he supported you. And I feel you. In life, it's important to, to reward, to say thank you. For truly, you can support. You can celebrate 100. So, you can thanks. Mr. President, I understand that Mudavadi supported you. But you have an opportunity given to you by Kenyans to do the right thing. Mr. President, do not include any person that people expect or know in your government. So you think the position should also be... It is not constitutional. Uh -huh. It is the easiest to abolish. You are from a morning show. Mm. And uh, you think um, a position mm. that should be reduced. Yes. Women reps. Yeah. We had a Klaus Shiko, you are a woman, mm. in the finance bill 2024 that was going to tax women's pads and it was discovered and brought on the limelight by men young men we had a clause that was going to tax pads and it is young people gen z's who are men who are fighting and discovered the pads in the finance bill. while we have 47 women reps what are they reps in <laughs> if not women they could not come together in a forum of 47 and, and a manner and raise their voice and refuse kusikwena na pads. Because your women rep me. That's number one. Mr. President, Toa. Women. Yeah. Katakan referendum. Number two, we need to reduce uh, the number of governors to 24. Shiko. From 47, From 47 to 24 half. counties. That's almost half. Almost half. The state of Texas in the US, it's led by a governor. Effectively, do you know Texas is twice the size of Kenya? Kenya in Angia kwa Texas Marambili, in Aliona governor, effectively. Unona kituna pen kiambu, na tatu city. It's just the tip of an iceberg. We need to reduce counties by, by half, by more than half. 24. To kill these counties in Amanisha, to kuna 24 governors, to kuna 24 senators. In a tower burden, your tax qua one inch. And probably, um, do you think it's possible, or rather, do you think it will be effective? Like, as soon as hey, Gen Z, when I take a bit of the Araka, Araka, yeah, will probably take right, right, right now. Today, hot spot. Uh, uh, right now, Shiko, you can see I'm very up between my fries. Yeah. Mm. Right now, as Eric Komondi, for the first time, I'm not, I'm not demanding. From Ruto. Mm -hmm. I'm not demanding. For the first time, I am suggesting. Mm -hmm. I am proposing. Mm -hmm. I am requesting. Sasa Tonyongi may change. Naomba. Mr. President, it will take time. But before you leave office, mm -hmm. Mr. President, remember you are the last of your generation. Mm -hmm. You could be greater than Kibaki, you will be greater than Uhuru, than uh, Moi, even. Okay, the founding father is Tamguza. Yeah. But you will go down as the greatest president in Africa. If you appoint a Mamamboga to, to the cabinet secretary, a Boda Boda to cabinet secretary, if you make sure before the end of your term, you take us to a referendum. I can take us to a referendum. Mm -hmm. Chico, I've, I've thought about it. I can start it now. Mm -hmm. It is constitutional. Yeah. But if the president can take us to a referendum to reduce 
the number of governors and counties at our legacy and it was celebrated internationally uh -huh. mm -hmm. because uh, Pesa Mingi, we thought we devolved services, we devolved corruption. Counties are more corrupt than the than the the, the national government. Nashiko, mimi sina mbio ju to nanda step by step. Executive, we are done, not completely, but we are done. Uh, county, we are coming. Parliament, ni mwambia. Mimi when Rais Ali sign IBC, ni sema yes. Sa na umbanga tu na sema na ngoja tu ni sema tu IBC ngiye. Are you suggesting a dissolve peer parliament? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You you are to achieve. Twenty twenty seven. Ah ah ah. I want Africa. Why don't we vote yes? I want Africa. She go. I ni sema ngi na. I want Africa. We are going to recall all of them. I want Africa twenty seven and ni. Ata wizi enda funeral sa hizi. Ata wajenda ushago. Wame jifungo. Ata wendi church. Ata wizi kujia apa. Shikoa. Fiki 2027. Plan ni simple. Yuu ruta tuwachie. Ame sana IBC. A constitute IBC. Tuwachie. Tuko na energy. Wuna jua Gen Z na millennials. Tuko na time. Na tuna employment. We are going to recall every MP that voted yes. Wali ambao wali apologize. Kwanza hao. Dotunanza nao. Kwanza, don't apologize. Tuanza na wewe. Shut, Miss Misikas. Usi apolo atutaki. Kama kuna mtu watoku kudayo love na, uli sikuwa vitu watoku na sema. Hiyo time. Kwanza kuna moja, alikuja kasema, hey, li ni uma. Wawili, ni mabeste wangu zo sita, taja jina zao. Moja, alikuja kasema, kwa TV, akasema, Mr. Speaker, sir, I went to Kenyatta University. And I am an editor. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, sir, I am a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. Those things that you're seeing, Mr. Speaker, are doctored photos and videos. Yes. na best angu, akasema, ile siku, the first time Jenzizu walienda, taa walikuwa wengi, mwenikuwa kwa 10,000. Ati ali drive from State House, ndi wakenda kupitisha. Akasema kienda nini, akasema kwa parliament. I'm just from State House, I drove through Kenyatta Avenue. I didn't see any demonstrations. Akaulizo, <laughs> you didn't see any anyone? Mm -hmm. no, no, I saw some TikTokers. Uh, 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 uh. I saw some uh, young people dancing mm -hmm. and uh, with phones and iPhones. Yeah. But I didn't see any Demonstrate. any demonstrations. Kuna pia yule wa KFC iPhone. Kuna ule kuna ule mama alisema bado mtani vote ya na nimevote yes na nitale kuja na pesa. Na nini? Si ndio? They are going home. President Ruto, iyo isi kusumbuwe we deal na, na nini? Na parastatals. Deal na exec... Tuwachie legislature. Ya atasa shibulike na ayo? Rais tulia. Wewe, akikisha kuna ABC. Awa, fiki tu kwa nafika kufanya nini? Kama kuwa wezi enda. Hata tuna, we are doing them a favor. The people shouted loudly, no. Yeah. And you went against them as their representative. You no longer represent us. Mm. You, 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 you are thieves. You are con men. And if, if actually, we won't stop there. Tukisha watoa wanyamaze. Wakiongea kamiti. Maybe Mr. President, there is some conversations around the scopes of Gen Z are pushing the button a bit too far, mm. especially after hashtag Ruto must go, mm. Ilianza ku make way mm. online. Where maybe do you think that Gen Z, first of all, do you think that the Gen Z and the youth that are going on the streets are pushing the button a bit too far? Alafu pia, uh, now that the cabinet was dissolved, alafu kuna watu wanataka now, because it is a it is a decision that was triggered by what was happening on the streets by the voice of people. Mm. So people are asking; they want now to participate in now the reconstitution of, of the government. Yes. Yeah. How do you think that will go and what will be on that? So uh, that is where Ruto will win or lose. What he does next, what is done now, he's on the right path now. Yeah. What he does next will determine whether he stays on the right path and we go back to the street. Mm. Let me help you understand the Gen Zs. And I think I have the moral authority to speak on this issue. Because I think, so I think peer, because I'm going to have flaws mingi za sales mingi, na I'm going to have the right to say what I'm about to say. 
I think I understand what the demonstrations are about because I started them two years ago. I think I have the scope of what we want and how we want it because I started it two years ago. Actually, to be precise, two and a half years ago. The Lianz and Lele play 75. The Gen Z's, if I may quote one pastor, is a hammer that God is using to change things in Kenya. The Gen Z's have done their part. Wamekuja yeah. waka change systems, waka shake foundations. Mungu wa miwatumia. But me, where, where I'm standing at right now, today, after Kituruto Alifanyajana, I want to stand back and observe for a day or two. What will the president do next? Then from there, I can tell people, eh, to do it in That's what I'm going to yeah. Fire so and so, fire the IG of police, mm -hmm. reduce governors, appoint Mama Mboga, and then Mama Mboga, me, me, I insist, I'm going to Tudi ni kikupromise kitu hapa Kenya yeah. lazima ni kipromise yangu. That's yeah. the only way tuta, tuta fight corruption na tutakuwa accountable. Mm. Ni kikupromise kitu lazima nikisema tutafanya tuta interview hapo mm. in Citizen at 8. Mm. The president never talked about uh, young people or he did kidogo, never talked about doctors, the president never talked about uh, lawyers, mm -hmm. he never talked about surgeons, mm -hmm. he talked about mamamboga and border border, border. Yes. severally continuously consistently persistently mm. he said uyu mama mboga mm. uyu boda boda tukingia pale tunainua uyu tuna tunatengeneza serikali ya mama mboga mr president appoint a mama mboga mr president appoint a mama mboga wako mm. wako na wako na madigiri mm. wako hapa kilifi na pale kakamega tutawapata yeah. na mama mboga can also be symbolic so I'm going to mama and I'm going to Okay, Eric, now that we went on. Yes. Uh, after Ruto uh, so many people felt Kwamba uh, that is not the solution. But mm -hmm. at the same time, mm -hmm. in Japan, we on X, what mm -hmm. one uh, argue that uh, some of the CSS, some of the local men, one of our new changes is going to be SEC because they are no longer in the cabinet because more comment in so many cases what one say ma alikuwa on a final part ya police ya KIA to some uh, groups in the Kabi do you think kwamba the nikutana na wengine kisumu jana yeah. wana kawaindi waindi hivi yeah, yeah, yeah. do you think the president anafaa sasa kuti that role ya sasa jamaa ametoka ni pia anasema it's about corruption so one thing at a time. To to change station. To change the kuingia na muru komensai. Energy tayenda apo. So let's fire first. Let's uh, finish what we started. To manza na cabinet secretaries. To nenda our ma parastatals. To nenda IG of police. Kuna mtoto bata to jazika ali shutiwa na police. Kuna watu wamekufa wengi sana munajua. IG aende, uh, we deal with the... Atuna, atuna, atuna nini, Gen Z's no wa yang. Tukuna time, bro. Uh, our MPs wali vote, yes, waende, C C-227, yu ni insult to what wali kufa. Waende sa hii. Tukimaliza hiyo, tu, tukaichini, tuseme, haa. Ah. Aya, wapi muruko muru men? Come. Atuwachi mtu. But tu sianze kudivert. Tu, tuwanze kusema ati, ati tuende kotini, nini, mm, tumalize kazi. To wash a nyumba, let me tell you, Kenya, Kenya ni, Kenya ni nyumba ina nuka. Iko na chose tatu wa zijaflashiwa wiki bili. Iko na panya ziliko ziko poison zimekufa kama kumi. Iko na viyombo wa zijaya washwa for two months. Ni nyumba ina nuka, lazima tuyoshe. Tuyoshe kwanza. Tuyoshe viyombo. Tuende chini ya kitanda, tuoshe, tutoe kila kitu inje, matres kuiko na matres, watoto waliko jolea. Aijia itolewa. Umekreti, umeona yu picture. So we clean the house first. Then after we clean the house, tuseme sasa, tuna change nini. Tupige rangi, tu change dirisha, tununue matres mpia. Iyo ndo sasa, akena muru komen. For now, we just stay on track. But me, I want to say, without fear, 
na plaque kuna kitu tuliongea pale nyuma Mr President you are a very spiritual man and you are a very prayerful man and you know what you have done you have listened to the people and the voice of the people is the voice of God Mr President you are on the right track do not leave the track for the very first time after two and a half years Eric Omondi is uttering these words you are on the right track you have done well to throw everyone under the bus God will judge you rightfully ulikuwa mahali lazima uwatupe under the bus Mr President it is okay for you to save yourself because me I have a feeling Ruto akisema pengine siko sure akisema huyu mama mboga huyu boda boda we don't know maybe he meant it but when alinga kwa governor aka surroundiwa na all these CSS all these friends all these cronies wakamwambia wewe bwana wacha hiyo mama mboga gani hii serikali ni yetu si wanasemanga kwa barambe wanasemanga hii serikali ni yetu so maybe Ruto is not the problem nasema maybe i'm we i'm yet to see maybe now Ruto atarudi kwa ile promise alisema You say zi? Did you will notice Jana Ruto after Amalize presser mm. akiwa kubaki uliona uli notice ako peke yake. Mm. It was a very weird scene. Yeah. He was alone. Hakuna hakuna waiguru. Hakuna mm. mtu alijifungulia mpaka mlango. Mm. That is where the president is and it's the best place to be. So Jana akilala ak, 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 lala peke yake. Akaangalia ceiling board. Akafikiria Where did the rain start beating us? What did they promise Kenyans? What is going on with my country? So and I reflect. So maybe Ruto meant the promises he made until he got into office. Yeah? So Mr. President on the right track, make sure you may lift wa Kenya, make sure you have a lean. How many cabinet secretaries were there? Mm. Huh? 22, 22. 20, reduce cabinet to 14. Kuna zingine kama nini? Hii ababu iko sawa, ali mix the youth. Ha? Uh, 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 sasa ukiona youth na joni kazi mob. Mm. But si uh, tunalipwa tufanye kazi. Kuna youth uh, sports mm. oh gender. Hapo sasa hapo gender ndio noma. But mi wangeweka gender na arts. Arts and culture iko kwa gender. Wangeweka kwa youth. Mm. Ju youth ndio arts. Kuna time nilikuwa natafuta sponsorship nikaenda kwa ofisi ya youth alafu venye alifungua proposal akaniambia hii ni arts juu ilikuwa event so una get na na ICT maybe tusiende sana but i'm sure we can have 14 cabinet secretaries and, uh, livestock and mining mm. livestock mining agriculture pap kwa moja inapatia ingine we can get to 14 bro yeah. naget kuna those comments that para malim made mm. and yesterday he was someone by the NCIC mm. akasema he couldn't make it because of unavoidable circumstances mm. we also have another legislator mm. who made the same comment mm. in 2023 it almost feels like they're being a bit lenient to people who are now doing hate speech what are your comments on para malim when go in fala when fala una kili He's stupid. He's an idiot. How can you go to a microphone like this? You are not even a parent. You are not a human being. You are a demon. He's always like in Rwanda. You are very, you are very stupid, Mr. Fara. What are you what are you Because you deserve it. You are you are you are idiotic. You are nonsensical. You are you are a murderer. You do not deserve to be a leader. You, by all means, Fara Malim. I was I was shaking. I don't understand how you are still in office in 2024. How my MPs mutu wachie. President Ruto li utuachie wa kanafara. You need to resign. It was going to be very bad for him. He said that if he was president he would have killed. Hata ngesema one nge jam. He didn't say two. He didn't say 10. He didn't say 100, he didn't say 1000. He said he would have killed at least 1000. So he could have 5000 youths. I Genuinely, I just lost my you are a fool if i meet you i would i would go to jail i would punch you so hard i i don't know if you have children we are all humans 
and God, you are an idiot of the highest order. You are, you are a murderer. You are, you, if I were you, I would leave this country for, for at least 20 years. And the fact that you spoke it in Somali, it means you came from me, it came from your heart. We are having issues and discussions of how we can lift a nation from poverty. We can lift a nation from 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 nepotism, tribalism, and we've made so many gains from independence. You are an idiot. And the recommend if I meet you, I will beat you. You deserve a punch on the nose. Because sometimes, my, my dear, and the Hilda. 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 Life, kuna time ya lunch, kuna time ya nini. That's why, kuna vitu tuli repeal. Kama death sentence, kuna vitu tuli change, you tuna grow as human beings. But we must deal with you scathingly when you can speak, so that you become an example. Farah Malim, do MPs resign? Ama they do, they, what do they do? They can resign. Please, sir. That's the only respect in the No, he's on the, he's on the politics. See, what can Nani, our ODM rebels for the quarry called? Farah Malim, please resign today. You will, you will, we are not going to allow, you saw, you saw the Gen Z's died. We don't have to brain in Katoka. This thing is a very serious thing. Yeah? This thing is a very serious thing that is going on. It's spiritual. We, we, we had a young person sit on the speaker's chair and hold the speaker's scepter. The power is with the people. Please, I'm advising you. Do not wait for us to come for you. It will be ugly. Cool our tempers by resigning. You will not be in that office in the next one month. I hope I hope you clip at Ayona. It is uncouth, it is inhuman to imagine that people's children to a multitude of five thousand have been massacred. It, it, it is actually it is it is it's a genocide. And me musical dugangu pali. accident do, do, do you think I can do the parliament? Farid Malim, don't go back to the parliament. I swear to God, when the parliament resumes, don't bring me back to Mandamano. Farid Malim, do not attempt to go back to the building that is the parliament of the Republic of Kenya. I repeat, Farid Malim, stay in your house. Try. I dare you, Farid Malim. I dare you. To get into your car and attempt, don't even do, to go to the Kenyan parliament. Try. Mm. To change your topic. Whatever is happening right now on the internet, Kenya has been placed as the giants of Africa following the Gen Z protests. Oh, but when you protest in Mendeley, you marry in Africa, we still have hope. Uh, Kenya is trending worldwide. We were discussed in the Ghanaian parliament. We were discussed in the Tanzanian parliament. Uh, there is a uh, mandamano going on in Nigeria. There is, uh, I've seen a poster, Kama yetu wamechukua waka change to Gina, ya Uganda, ya Occupy, Occupy uh, parliament, parliament, Uganda, Kenya, ndiyo Everyone is looking. Nimona milada wali poskitu. Akasema Kenya is a hero. The rest of Africa and the world are looking to Kenya. When you root wali wali dissolve parliament, Kenya is shining. Kenya has shown that power is with the people. Kenya is is seen as the most democratic 
even the, the space we had to enter the parliament. So it's a win, not just in Africa, at, at America. So to see lose, flag, to see lose. When a president, Mimi Leo, na applause, to see lose. That's why I'm going to say that 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 I'm and maybe, do you think the Gen Z's have done enough or uh, they still need to, for lack of a better word, still inject me? So what Gen Z's need to do is uh, uh, continue applying the pressure, continue injecting. When you, when, you, when you gain ground and gains, breathe, retreat, re-strategize. Ukipika, 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 awa zewa tatutoka. Zema nyipia sa muende shule. So pia tukua na wisdom. Yeah? Ruto alikuja akasema I concede. Do you know what it takes for a president to say I concede? Unajua wa president wa Africa wewe? Imagine who your neighbor wetu asema I concede. Wacha niseme jina yake juu niko na show huko next week. Akuja asema I concede. Yeah. Hey, so, Gen Z, let us be strategic. Uh, let us be also wise. Number 2, and this is the most, most important part. Naim Mukate Munipati any post. Gen Z's, we have a lot of gains, we can lose those gains. Mm -hmm. Our only insurance, na he the campaign to Naanza next month. Our only assurance and insurance, make sure ukona kitambu ID. Mm -hmm. Na make sure mechukwa ku kura. Have an ID, have a voter's card. And have weke kwa let. So Ruto aki 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 choma, tunenda kwa kwa barabara but na wambia sawa tu. Asipo choma, that is our insurance. Yeah. To, see, to see celebrate, to say, hey, to Rudy Milan. Ni sawa, to Rudy Milan, lakini, siku election to see lewe. These are campaigns to Zifanya. We, we, we are about to start talking to young people. Our insurance, our power is in 2027. So that's, that's my message to Gen Z and the millennials. Ata wale wako form 4. Eh, wale wako form 4. Wale wataona hii clip maybe next year, ama next month. I'm in December. Chukua ID, chukua kura, that is our protection. Yeah. Wakenda kututoka, tunawatoka. Mm. Thanks. Um, I have been a church in Alenia Kota Lini. To wait, Alenia Kota Lini, they start the river. I have been, uh, I have been uh, a comedian, an artist for 16 going 17 years. I have fought for young people. I have fought for artists, play 75. I understand artists and young people. I don't want to talk about the CSS. Right now, there's a reason I'm pushing the Mamamboga. But what I will tell you, Mr. Mr. President, look for some of us. That's what I'll tell the President. Mr. Kiat Nepewe CS. I'd be happier. Mr. President, look for some of us and just ask us questions. Kuna vitu siyezi ambia online media, but nazi ambia ruto. Look for some of us. Kuna vitu nazi siyezi sema hapa zitachoma ama zini, ama watu wachukwe hizo vitu waende wa uzie ruto. Yeah. But for now, what I'll say is, Mr. President, look for some of us because, morally speaking, we have the authority to, to give you a, a, a few of tips here and there. Just look for some of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to say this to Kemaliza. If uh, we will about one term. So, this is it. If Ruto, Ruto has an opportunity to be the best president in Kenya or in Africa. If Ruto appoints a Mamamboga or a Boda Boda, if Ruto dismisses the IG, if Ruto dismisses all parastatals, and if Ruto strives to try and reduce counties, Ruto will do two terms and will be elected overwhelmingly in 2027. Atashinda, 
hakuna uhuru kibaki Kenyatta Moi ata elected na Gen Z ata do two terms ata legacy if it does if it does all those things all right thank you so much